Hey there, it's Diane Forster, and welcome to I Have Today, where we talk about the art of intentional living. And this show is all about inspiring, empowering, and educating you through life's transitions so that you could be living to your highest, greatest, fullest potential. I am your host here, and I'm excited to bring back a wonderful guest that I've had on before, Pamela Edwards. And Pamela is an internationally recognized feng shui expert. And she's also an author, a speaker, and an educator. And today, among the many things that we're going to be talking about, we're, one of the things I want her to share with us today is about metaphysics, because she's in that space. Um, and she talks about how metaphysics encompasses four factors that make a positive impact for your life. So we're going to talk about that and more in our our title of today's show is Business Success and Personal Growth with Feng Shui. So I had Pamela on my show a couple of years ago. I want to say it was back in, uh, I, it was about four years ago, I want to say. Uh, and she's back. She's back in the area, even though this show is going to be a virtual interview, but she's back in the area and we recently connected and she was sharing some information with me and I said, oh, I've got to have you on the show. So you all are in for a treat because she's so incredibly knowledgeable in this space. I'm going to read more about her, her bio once we get to the interview. But um, if you're here for the first time, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're back, Thank you for coming back. We are broadcasting live right now on the E360 television network, but we're also streaming on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter simultaneously. So if you are here and catching the show live, put in the comments uh, area, hashtag live. And if you're catching the replay, put in hashtag replay. All right. So one of the things that we do on this show every week is we have an intention statement. And an intention statement is the affirmation that we set for the week. And it's aligned with the values behind I have today and also in alignment with what our guest is doing so that you can take this experience of spending this time with us on the show beyond the time that we're here together so that you can start implementing this stuff in your life. What I'm so passionate about is this isn't just like fluff TV. This is infotainment. This is edutainment. This is about you taking what you learned today and implementing it in your life, like right now, right here, today, because all we have is today, right? So if you're just a, you know passively listening to this, but you're not doing anything with it, then it's kind of sort of wasting your time, don't you think? Don't you want to get the most out of it? So we help you do that with these intention statements. Okay, the intention statement for today is, I have today to attract abundance using feng shui. I have today to attract abundance using feng shui. All right, so how I'm going to help you remember this is every single week, my amazing team makes a gorgeous graphic of the intention statement. And there it is right there. It's already uploaded. If you go to my Instagram page at Diane Forster Official, Diane Forster Official, you will see it there. There's a little button that says intention statements. And what I want you to do is take a screenshot of it and use it as your screensaver for the week. So that every time you look at your phone, you see these words. It starts to reprogram your subconscious mind. You remember, oh yeah, that's right. I have today to attract abundance with feng shui. I'm going to implement the things that I learned from Pamela Edwards on Diane's show. And this is going to start having a profound effect on my life. This is how you make positive change. This little, these little tiny micro changes create macro results. So that's what we do for you here. And there it is right there. So feel free to go and grab it and browse all the other ones too, because we have hundreds of them. I'm going to make a deck out of them someday. I have lots of ideas of what to do with them. They're amazing. So, so yeah, so that's what's going on with our intention statement. Now, Pamela is getting ready to come on in just a minute, but before she does, I wanted you to hear this message from our sponsor, The Spifter. 
This week's episode of I Have Today is brought to you by the Spifter. The Spifter is a fun sifting spoon that makes cooking, baking, and decorating with sugars and spices so much fun. No more mess or wasting your spices. It's fast, clean, and easy. Everything looks and tastes delicious. It's also great for straining loose tea, getting pesky broken cork out of your wine glass, and draining liquid off food like olives and capers. Whether you're a novice cook or a gourmet chef, you'll love the results. The Spifter, the kitchen gadget that no kitchen should be without. All right, so you can get your Spifter on Amazon. And hello, Pamela Edwards. Good morning, Good morning. Diane. Welcome to very happy to be part of your show. Um, well, I'm so happy to have you here. And, um, you know, for everyone out there, whether you're watching the show or listening to it on the podcast, because we do take the show and upload it on the, all the podcasting streams as well. I, you know, I didn't mention that, but I'm mentioning it now. Um, Pamela and I met uh, several years ago. We got connected and I, I, of course, fell in love with her. I love anything and everything that can improve our lives. I'm a big believer in tapping into every available resource and feng shui is one of those things. And what I love so much about what you do is what I'm going to read in your, your bio right here. Let me just tell the audience a little bit about you. Pamela Edwards is an internationally recognized feng shui expert, speaker, author, and educator. She is the owner of Language of Space, a company that specializes in metaphysics by integrating feng shui principles with design solutions to create home and workspaces that enhance business performance and advance personal growth to engage greatness in our lives. And when we first met and I learned that that's what you were doing, I thought that was so fascinating. Like before you before you go buy a house or build a building or remodel, uh, you know, of the many things that you do, that was such a so powerful to me because the environment has so much to do with it. And so a quick little story for the audience. So when Pamela and I met, I said I was I was relocating at the time I was living in Solana Beach and my business was in my home and i just i i wanted to separate it i wanted to keep keep the business separate from my home life and so i was looking for a new place to live and, and a new place to work and so she was so kind we we met for lunch and toured an office building that was in rancho santa fe and um, she went there and she analyzed the space. And I was so excited. I saw all this potential. I thought it was going to be a game changer for me. You know, all of these things. And she so politely said, no, Diane, no. You know, and she showed me all these things, the way the energy was flowing, how it was blocked. It was just so good. And now looking back on it, and I was a little disappointed because I had, you know, I was really had high hopes about it. And so looking back on that in retrospect, what a gift that was, because you know what it would have done to my business, Pam? It would have shifted it. I would have done so much more in the coaching space and not enough in the media space, which is where I am now and where I'm going. So what a blessing and a gift it was. And had you not come out and, and you know, read the energy and gave that analysis to me, I, I would have, I would have done that. And it definitely would have, I don't know that it would have blocked where I was going, but it certainly would have detoured it. And so I'm so grateful to you for that. And I wanted to share a, like a real life testimony with the audience about, about the you and the way you work. So my first question for you is how and why did you, like, how did you start this journey and why? Okay, well, I started this journey 20 some years ago when I was making a career change myself because I'd always been uh, having art related type businesses. And I came to a point where that wasn't working for me anymore. And someone mentioned feng shui and I, I had no idea what it was, but somehow it, at that point, time I was involved with some people and we did some sort of like soul work on that and it just like was like 
through the moon. And it was like, oh my God, this isn't, this is my journey. And so a week later, I found myself in a class at UCLA studying feng shui. And that night I went home and read the whole book. And I don't think I stopped smiling for a whole year because it was just like this so connected to me because as a child, I loved going and spending time in spaces that were being built and just absorbing the energy and imagining what they were going to be like. And this just brought me back to that time where, yes, this was my true, true love. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so great. How yeah. you, you listen to the cue and it lit, lit you up and you've been doing it ever since. That is that is amazing. That's a that's a cue for all of you out there. It should light you up and it should make you smile and not want to stop reading the book and not want to stop doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. OK, so you've been doing this, like you said, for more than 20 years. OK, talk about um, the metaphysical side of it a little well, bit. I don't know if people even know what really feng shui is because right. there's so misconceptions about it. But it's really, it's about the invisible forces in nature and how we can harness that energy. And through feng shui, the principles of feng shui, there are tools that have been developed over thousands of years to help us to understand the language of our environment and how it influences us. And so We've learned how to harness that energy, how to bring it into our environment, how to create an alignment between you and your space and to welcome that energy to support you. And feng shui is that process of creating the principles and the guidelines to be able to communicate that to you. Okay, that's so good. All right, all right, so talk a little bit about, uh, about it. So what are some of the things that, you know, the lay person who doesn't really know anything about it could start doing right away to learn a little bit more about it? Well, feng shui really, as, I, as you had already mentioned, is based on four factors. So the factors are that, that sort of embrace and em our entire life is number one is we call it heaven, man, and earth. Heaven is the energy, that blueprint that we were born with. And so by understanding your destiny chart, like the chart that you were, astrology chart that you were born with and understanding your strengths and your weaknesses and how you can be better informed so that you know the course of action to take. And that changes over time. It's not like a set static um chart that you look at it the year's energy there are different cycles of time that influence in you influence you and that what creates the ups and downs in your life and all of those are specifically to help you grow and evolve i mean sometimes it's not so easy but it's really where our life is about making breakthroughs and the breakthroughs are what help us to evolve and grow to the potential of who we can be so that's, that's one facet. Then the other facet is earth. It's our environment and how it supports us. Like when we are living and working in a space that empowers us to function to our you know, optimum, then we can think more clearly, be more decisive and take actions that align with who we are to grow and evolve. And that is one of the other aspects of the man quality is that our conscious decisions that we make. And a lot of times I, I work also advising my clients on how to be more, have more clarity with what their options are in front of them. And I have a process by which I do that to engage people and to strategize and mentor them on the best solutions for them. And then this is all encapsulated in the fourth factor, which is timing using timing that aligns with you to amplify the results for you. And I work with my clients on a monthly basis to advise them on specifics based on their, their astrology chart, where the energies are for them, looking at the dynamics within their uh, environment, the feng shui aspects, where to spend time, and then specific timing to take actions and to focus their mind to achieve what they want to accomplish. And all of those factors work. And so if somebody's struggling 
in their life right now, in their, let's just say in, in business, let's talk about, keep it to career. Um, you could be in one of those cycles where you're not supposed to be doing this right now. Like I, <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I recently read a, a metaphysics book. And of course, now I, I can't remember the name of it, but it, it was Chinese met metaphysics and it showed my birth year. It showed my numbers. It showed some cycles. And I had um, a lot of big goals. I still have a lot of big goals, but I thought I would be further along in this than I actually am. And what I, once I read the book, I realized, oh, I'm not supposed to be doing this. This is more of a, of a rest year for me, you know, a more of a quiet time for me. And so if people understand more about that, they'll be, you know, less hard on themselves when things aren't working out the way they want them to, because it's all these factors together. So good. So good. Well, that's where timing comes into place because uh, in a Chinese astrology, we have the year, month, day, and hour that we're born. And all of those have elemental energetic qualities. And so we need to look at when that timing because we then go through 10 year luck cycles and that creates the ups and downs and also the lessons that we need to learn in life. And so we see when it's the time to maybe hone our skills, embrace more knowledge and to prepare us for what's coming next. Cause that may be then the time to really launch forward with your career or what you're what you're doing. And of course, by understanding your chart, it helps you understand where your strengths are and where to focus your energy as far as your career goes. Like for example, your month that you're born in is all about your career energy. And so we look at the element and the animal that relates to that and how that syncs up number one with our luck cycle, with the annual energies that are present and see where we need to focus our attention. Sometimes there is a conflict going on energetically. And in those years, you could say, oh my gosh, life is so tough. But you could also say, this is the year for the challenge for me to have the incredible breakthrough to see how I can evolve myself and how I can let go of those limiting patterns and behaviors that have been holding me back. Because that's where we're here. We're here, earth is a school of learning. And we are here to learn the lessons. And as we learn the lessons and in integrate them, that allows us to expand our energy and to evolve. Um, that, is, that is our journey here. Yes, it is. And um, I will tell you, it took a lot of times uh, for me to realize, oh, I get it. This, is, this just means the breakthrough is coming. Some magical breakthrough is coming when you're in it. <laughs> it's not fun. No. <laughs> but once you go through that and then you, you experience breakthroughs, it, you know, you start to understand it. This is so powerful. Okay. So I'm going to, can I, can we play? Can I ask you a couple questions? Okay. So my, uh, my birthday is this week. It's August 4th and I will be 59 which means I was born in 1964. Yes, I'm sharing my age. I very openly do that. And um, I know I am was born, I believe I was born in the year of the dragon. I believe that. Um, well, wait, you're born in January or beyond? Uh, August. August. Okay. You're born in uh, August. Uh, yeah, August 4th, 1964. So it was, it's, Yes. So next year is my 60th, right? So, well, my dear, you <laughs> get prepared. <laughs> in a good way or a bad way? You were born in a dragon year and next year is a wood dragon year. It's a very, very powerful year. And since you are also a dragon, you can expect to be challenged. You can expect things to opportunities and challenges to come to help you to grow and know what is next for you. Mm. We, we, we are going through, like I just said, 
personally, we're working on breakthroughs, but the whole world right now is working on a breakthrough. We are mm -hmm. going through an incredible cycle of time right now. Metaphysics is based on 20 year segments of time. And we are at the end of what we call the element of earth, which ends this, the end of this year. And so we have been in a transition for the past few years. So what that means is the undoingness of everything that we thought a lot of times brought stability in our life because we are moving from earth to fire and earth is a very stable uh, energy, big business, you know, things you can count on, m m slower moving, where we're moving into fire, where fire is incredibly rapid paced, transformative, we need to pivot, we need to change, that we need to reskill set ourselves. All of this is in the process of happening. And that's why so many period people are in such fear right now because they are so unsettled about where they're going and what's next for them in their life. And all of this is coming up as being unearthed because we need to see these things about ourselves to transform and move into this new age, what I call the age of, age of Aquarius age of illumination that is coming and it will be it'll rock your socks i so believe it because i feel the energy i mm -hmm. feel it uh, you know there's so there's not an area in uh, you know the world but let's talk about our country that is not going through major major disruption divisiveness dividedness um just so much is happening and are you you know are you seeing all the stuff uh about the aliens you know out there right so obviously i mean we know it's been around obviously for years and years and years but it's just coming out now like it seems like everything's getting exposed everything's you know it, it yeah yeah so it's going to be a fiery ride is what you're saying. So, so what are you with that? And I, you know, I'm not putting you on the spot or anything, but what are some of the sort of predictions that you think will happen given where we are in this 21st century, in this decade that we're in and, you know, what do you think is going to happen over the next, you know, few years? Well, I think life as we know it is going to change. And yeah. that means um, be, being open to embrace new ideas because with fire comes the whole wave of the AI technology, learning how to run your business more efficiently, working on your business instead of in your business, mm -hmm. these types of things because it's going to be about really aligning ourselves with people and creating alliances and out, you know, outputting things instead of having everything in house anymore. So it's about creating connections with people. And as trends change, change, which can happen quite rapidly, you need to pivot and see what's going on in the marketplace so that you can adapt to what their changes are. And, a uh, period of fire is all about illumination to who we are. And it's about transparency. So all those things that are no longer um, those hidden components anymore are not going to survive anymore. So companies who do not do that, do not have real value anymore. They are, will not survive this transition because we are tired of being scammed we are tired of being led an illusion of what you know we've been told that's happening that's not the truth and we are seeing beyond it we are waking up to see the truth of what's going on in the world and who we are as individuals and that is how we step forward into this new wonderful period of time so with Business, we're going to see a lot of jobs as we're already seeing this year being lost. And so it's about reskilling ourselves and stepping into new kinds of thinking about what we can really do that nourishes us and brings joy to our hearts, you know, and so that we 
are in a position of really connecting with ourselves and with people in a way that brings value because value will be the calling card for people. That's what they're looking for. What is going to nourish and engage my life? And that also brings the fact that we are stepping into a time where females, women are going to be center stage. We are the nurturers. We are the people with the caring hearts. And we're going to bring that into policies with government and with the heads of companies because that's, you, you, people are losing and leaving their jobs because they are so dissatisfied because they feel that they don't matter. And we need to move a time where, yes, we do matter. We are important. Every single person is. No matter whether we have different ideas about life, about politics, we need to step beyond that and see how we can really be there to support for each other. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And I, I feel it too. And I hope that that is exactly what's happening. Well, yeah, I mean, everything is, is being exposed and I feel it, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, building a, you know, television network, you know, of women for women to help and support women. Not that I don't love men. I absolutely love men, sure. but women really need it. They need it. They need to be able to step up into the leadership roles with their nurturing hearts and, and be a part of this change in the world, exactly what you're talking about. And you're right. Every single person matters. Everybody came into this world to experience all the joys of life and experience the biggest possible life that they could possibly live. And they have the right to, everybody has a right to. And I see it and I spend, I, I you know, I spend these days um, a lot of time on TikTok. And um, that was just because videos of mine started going viral. So I found audience there and I got a lot of comments back there and I could see what was going on. I can see what people are really struggling with and I can see what's taking off there. You know, what's, what's going viral, who are really popular and everybody is sharing their voice and their opinion and saying, mm -hmm. we're not taking this anymore. Um, so I, I love this because that was such a brilliant rundown of, of where, we need to be focused and what we need to be thinking about as we're and getting we're not going to leave our men behind because they are going to also embrace the feminine in them and find how to really use that to empower them too yes yes yeah i'm i'm uh working with someone uh and, and partnering with someone and he's very passionate about helping and supporting women and he's a you know big fan of what i'm doing and an advocate for that and and that's okay. I'm also seeing a lot of men, all ages, but particularly the younger demographics. Okay, so the, um, you know, the the Gen Y and the Zs, so the millennials and the Zs that are so um, open, honest, heart centered express their emotions, talk about their feelings, which is so, I mean, I, it just, it, it's so heartwarming for me to see that because I believe this with all my heart that a lot of the reason why there's so much anger and rage and fighting and all of that around power is because these men have never been able to express those feelings. And so it's coming out in other ways, right? So, I love that this is happening and the new world that is coming. Yeah. So in this new world, we can see everything to do with healthcare, spiritualism, personal growth is really going to be very thriving businesses. And healthcare as we know it today is not going to be the healthcare of tomorrow. We are moving into a time of energetic frequency and understanding the power of that and how it can heal our body, heal our minds, heal our spirit, heal our spirit. And there will be many 
different modalities and vehicles for us to have an experience of that. Yes. Okay. You said healthcare. And then what was the second one? Spirituality, personal growth, anything that has to do with the well being of who we are. Yes. This is going to be dynamic. And of course, technology is going, we are going to see new technologies that have been under the, you know, that, that have been hidden and repressed for so long that are going to come out that is going to help us to live our lives, especially in our business, more efficiently. There'll be resources available to us. And I believe there will be resources to heal the world, to heal the earth. So it's not like we are going to be doom, gloom. Oh my gosh, climate change is going to destroy the world. And we, we need to really take a look on how we are going to embrace in our environments, but there will be solutions because I truly believe any problem on the world, there is a solution for that. That is just the nature of how could God, how could God create something that could not be resolved? Oh, it's impossible. It's so true. I believe that everything is, is, has a solution. Mm -hmm. Every problem. So, but we've been having a government that's sort of repressing those things. And mm -hmm. that's where government is breaking down now because it's no longer working. And new things, new ideas are going to just, I mean, we're going to be so incredible. We're going to be seeing flying cars. We're going yeah. to be seeing age regression, energetic healing. We're going to be seeing new teaching, new ways of teaching our children. And that's really an important aspect of where I am headed is tapping into the genius of the children because they are our future. And we have a very bright future ahead, even though it's very stormy and very scary right now. We, if you can see the big picture and move in that direction and use that to guide you, you will get there. And if you can't, get help. Mm -hmm. Get mm -hmm. help. There are many people out there that are there with their hearts open to help people to see where they need to grow and what they need to re reveal and see about their lives. Yes. And I love that your focus is on the children too. And they are our future and they are so gifted. They are so wise. You know, they come in light years ahead of us, their ability to use their senses, their intuition, read energy. It's just accepted. And um, yeah, powerful, powerful. So an important aspect that I want to bring into this, of course, is the feng shui. Yes, our, let's, our let's environment Because we want that to support the changes that we are making in our life and how energy can come into our space is an important factor. Like I see so many times where the front door, in front of it, there's blockages by another building or trees or the front doors to the side or different aspects. Or we have house designs that are very creative, but they have a lot of missing components to them. So it creates unbalances in our life. So I come in, my business is language of space and it's I see and I understand that hidden language that is influencing us in our environment and give you solutions to based on what your goals are, where where are you having difficulty to help you to take action like feng shui. You can create the most beautiful and wonderful house and all the best feng shui and energy in the world. But if you are not taking action nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You are an integral part of this process. That's why it's heaven, man, and earth. Every component needs to work together to fulfill your life in so many different ways. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not doing anything without you. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> yeah. It's so important. I know, um, you know, uh, Marie Diamond is actually a friend of mine and she's been on the show as well. And, you know, you're both amazing women and, and so uniquely talented and gifted. And, um, I was, 
I, I can't remember what it was, but um, oh, when I moved into the space that I'm in, I do know my success direction. I'm, a, you know, I'm aware I know some of, you know, some things about feng shui, not a lot. But I know, I remember I turned my desk around and Pamela, the next day, this flood of money came in. I couldn't believe how much money came in in a day, the day after I did it. It's so powerful. And it's not all, you know, about the money. Obviously, the money is important, but but how knowing this mm -hmm. and using those four factors will help you and and give you some support that's here. The environment, like you said, yes. is trying to support you. It doesn't know anything other than that. And if you're not using it in the in the, you know, the way it's intended, that could really block things for you in your life, right? Well, a lot of times we are attracted to a home that helps us live out what we are to experience in our life. And sometimes that can be very challenging. And of course, on the other hand, it can really help us grow and evolve. So you, everything is for a reason, you know, yeah. it's all predestined. We come in here already with a blueprint of who we are going to be and what things are going to happen in our life. And sometimes it can be really, really hard. But mm -hmm. if you can see beyond the moment and see what is there to teach you, you can release that, you can integrate that, and you can learn to how to expand your energy and give those lessons that have been learned that no longer align with you to give it back to source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, then they've completed their mission. They've completed what they set out for you to do. That's really powerful. Mm -hmm. Any do, uh, do numbers have anything to do with it? In some ways, not like the the system of numbers, but feng shui, of course, has its own numbers, like the, the numbers that relate to the year that you're born, which relate to a segment in your, uh, like you're born in uh, 64, 64 is 10... 20, you're a six. So I'm a six. You are a person that is what we call the heaven energy. Mm -hmm. mm. And so you are about in the South and the Northwest is the heaven energy. So the Northwest is a very important part of your environment. And so you need to be very careful about how you design it, how you take care of it. And that because that will be there to support you. And that we call, the, yes, the number six, which we call our life law or our life energy. And so every, there are nine different types. And so depending on the year you're born, you bring that into your life. So in that way, yes, we use numbers. Um, there's much deeper ways, but we'll keep it. <laughs> so people can understand. Yeah, keep it simple. Yes. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. uh, but so like, and for example, for you, if you moved into a house that was missing the Northwest, it would be disastrous for your career. It would be disastrous for your, your, what you're trying to achieve. achieve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the kinds of things that we need to pay attention to. Cause I'm like, right now I've been helping a client find a, to buy a house in Newport beach and, there are a lot of creative designs where like, the Northwest is missing, you know, and even if it's not your life, blah, the Northwest is also the head of the family. And if it's missing, that means number one, you're going to lose money. You're not going to be successful as the person who's in charge of your family. There are many different aspects that can create difficulties for you. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. I know there's so many factors it, and it all matters. It's all important. It does. And so, so um, what's been your greatest challenge? Uh, that's what I want to know. Greatest okay. challenge is people think feng shui is just about moving around furniture. That is a small aspect about it because of course it's about flow, but it's about how the energy can come to your space, the bigger environment. Just think of how water would flow to your house. Think of a stream. Is it going to come to you? Or is it going to fall away from you? Is it going to come rushing to you in a torrent? 
or just little dribbles, you know, mm -hmm. these kinds of things are considerations to determine, you know, what influence is going to happen to you. Yeah. Like, so, okay. So the, so getting back to misunderstanding of this metaphysics is an incredible, deep and expansive um, system. I have been studying for, even though I've been doing this work for over 20 years, I have never stopped studying and learning. In fact, I have been studying a, with a teacher now from Malaysia, a very, very deep level of Chinese astrology, which I love because it just brings a whole new understanding of how I can help people yeah. to really see the values of who they are and to help them to confront and understand the problems that are happening in their life and how to make a breakthrough and move forward. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you were sharing that when we spoke and uh, set up this interview today that you are deep in, in, in studying still. And I, I, I love, admire and appreciate that, that, you know, the teachers continuing to learn so that you can help provide even more and more information to us and support. Um, okay, well, I have to ask you uh, two more questions. And one of them is, um, I wanna ask you, how do you live the I have today way, which is intentionally with passion and purpose? So I have today to be a self-determinant person, to be a person that steps into my own power, because this is one of the lessons that I've experienced in life is giving away my power. And I've had some tough lessons that have really taught me about that. And to so really to value myself and to see where I'm not being uh, where I'm doubting myself, where I'm unsure about myself, because I've been doing personal work for 40 years and it's still it's a lifelong journey of evolving and growing. And so there's just you go deeper and deeper into who you are being and how you can experience your life because life is here to have experience. Well said. Um, yeah. The, the learning never ends. The discovery never ends. Right. In our infinite universe. Of course it doesn't. Right. Well, I love, I love that. That was beautiful, Pamela. All right. Well, is there um, one final tip or piece of advice or something that you want to share with the audience? Okay. So if you're having a rough time, number one, open your door and see what you can see. Is it something beautiful? Is it something that is open that allows the energy to come to you? If not, make changes where you can. And then when you walk inside, does it, oh, is it open for the energy to flow through? See where there are blockages that you can maybe adjust some things in your environment. Sometimes simple changes can make a very big, profound impact for you. Well said. Like me moving my desk. Yes. Made yes. A big impact. So, oh, that's so good. All right, Pamela. Well, how can our audience find out more information about you? Okay. There are three points I want to make. Number one, go to my website, languageofspace.com. Okay. Sign up for my newsletter. I give monthly tips and different information that will really be very good. For, will, it'll be wonderful for you. I have a very strong following. Um, number two, if you're interested to know more about how I can help you, I have a free 30 minute discovery section session. So sign up at my, at my website. And number three, I have a gift for you today The I have today. If you send me an email, Pamela at language of space, I will give you a 20% discount on a personal reading with me. Oh my God. What a beautiful gift, Pamela. Yes. All right, team. Yes. I don't know if you got that. Put her email address up on the screen, Pamela at languageofspace.com. So that would be a savings of $100. Yes. Oh, that's so wonderful of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you email her. I have today so she knows that it's came from there so that you can, you can experience her for yourself. 
Yeah, I'd love to help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you are truly a delight and a treasure. I'm so grateful that you are here today on the show, inspiring, empowering, and educating our audience. And I hope the, the viewers and the listeners got some value out of it and curiosity to start digging into, you know, feng shui work with Pamela, sign up for her newsletter for sure and start utilizing these four factors in your life so that you can really understand what's happening and, and use all that's available for you to live to your highest, greatest, fullest potential. Yeah. Thank you, Diana. And I appreciate you and value the work that you're doing to reach out and help people make a difference in their lives. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye. Oh, she's such a delight. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I wrote notes and notes and notes. I am going to wrap this show with a mantra meditation. So be sure to stick to the end because I am going to incorporate everything that Pamela shared with us today in this powerful mantra meditation so that you could leave here feeling better at the end than you did at the beginning and feel that positive shift in your vibration and your frequency. So, all right. So before we get into that, I wanted to tell you what's going on here at I Have Today. So like I mentioned, we are um, getting ready to launch a television network of Women for Women where uh, you're going to be able to learn from experts. You know, Pamela's an expert. Imagine having this whole network of experts available for you so that whatever it is you need, you've got it right there. Um, but what we're doing is we're doing training first. So if you are interested in becoming a TV host, whether it's on my network or it's on a different platform, there has never been a better time given everything that's happening. Like we were talking about today, you know, all these, all these industries are crumbling and now there's this massive strike going on in Hollywood and there's all these people who are out of work and the, you know, the shifts are changing. The ripple effect of that, what's happening right now is going to, and is affecting so many other industries. And you're here to put your powerful work out into the world. You're here because you're valuable. You're here because you matter, like Pamela said. You're here to figure out what that is and do it really well. And do, do, love what you do and do what you love every single day. And so if you've ever dreamt about having your own TV show and taking that expertise to the next level, then I am going to invite you to set up a breakthrough session call with me, a breakthrough session call with me to find out about my academy, what we're doing, and to see if this is a good fit. And like Pamela said, it takes action. You need to take action. Yes, you use the other elements, but it's your action. So I'm going to ask the team to put a link up here. Um, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot. It's going to be tvstarhost.com forward slash apply. tvstarhost.com forward slash apply. It's right there. And that is going to give you a free 45 minute breakthrough session with me. We're going to look at your business and see if TV hosting is for you. So imagine getting your free 30 minutes with Pamela Edwards and figuring out everything that you're destined to do, all of that. And then having 45 minutes with me, like this is your day. This is your day. Today is your day. It's the only one that you have. Go with your heart and follow and trust that intuition so that you can be living the, you know, the most amazing life, if this is for you. So either way, we'll know. We'll know at the end of the call. So you have nothing to lose. So I wanted to share that with you because it's really exciting. And everything Pamela said about the changes that are coming, you've got to be ahead of the game. You've got to be the one that stands out. It's very crowded space out there. So you've got to be able to shine 
as bright as you possibly can because you're worthy and deserving of it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get ready for our mantra meditation. And if this is your first time here, here's what we're going to do. If you are driving, do not close your eyes. Keep your eyes on the road. You can listen uh, and, and take it in that way. And then you can watch the replay or listen to the replay later if you want to close your eyes. But for everybody else, what I want you to do is stop everything. Stop the multitasking. Just put your feet flat on the floor. We're just going to take a few deep breaths. I'm going to walk you through how to do this. And then I'm going to just going to say the mantra meditation for you and just let it pierce into you and just enjoy this experience. So what I want you to do with your feet flat on the floor is you're going to close your eyes and I'm going to take you through a breathing sequence, which is you're going to breathe in through your nose for the count of four and pull that air all the way down to your tailbone, your root chakra. And then I want you to hold it for eight seconds. And as we're counting to eight, we are going to send energy to all eight of your chakras. I know you think it's seven. It's not. It's more than it's more than seven, way more. But that's your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, and your soul star, which is about a foot or so above your head. A very important chakra because you want to send energy to that to open it up so you can receive the information that's coming to you, that's being sent to you. You want to, you want to open that up. So we send energy there for the count of eight. And then we're going to breathe out for the count of eight, like you're blowing out birthday candles. And what I want you the visualization to be is I want you to imagine that you are getting rid of anything toxic in you negative energy, trauma, pain, anything like that, you are blowing it out and releasing it. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. We're just going to do this two times and then listen to my words. So here we go. Close your eyes. Breathe in for the count of four. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and blow it out for eight. Sending all that energy to all those chakras, releasing all that trauma. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in for four. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blow it out for eight. Feel really good, nice and relaxed. I have today to love my life. Something really good is going to happen to me today. I can feel it. Miracles, big and small, I notice them all. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I have today to attract abundance using feng shui. I am now enlightened and understand more about the four factors that's involved with feng shui and the metaphysics, and that I'm an active participant in this. And my awareness of this is only going to enhance my life. I'm going to tap into the resources available, like Pamela and Diane and other people, and start waking up to what's going on and how I could possibly implement all of this in my life to prepare me for the best life possible. My environment matters a lot. It's heaven, it's man, and it's earth. These elements all work together. There's a design for my life and I want to know it. I want to understand it. I'm going to allow myself to be kind to myself when things are not working out for me, understanding that this is part of the learning process and the breakthrough is coming. It is coming. The invisible forces of the environment are all around me and I'm going to help harness that energy into my life because I know it's all here to welcome and support me. It's so incredible. I'm here on this earth and it is the school of learning and I'm going to continue to learn, grow and expand every day, just like Pamela does. 
Now, whether I'm changing my career or whatever it is I want to do, I am going to tap into the meaning and the values that mean the most to me. Be more loving, loving, be more nurturing, be more kind, be more forgiving, be more accepting that everybody matters, including myself. And I am going to surround myself with community and people and resources to help support me there as well. I'm stepping into my power. I'm stepping into my worthiness. I'm stepping into my knowledge and my wisdom. I'm going to use feng shui in my life. I'm going to understand the importance of my life path number and my directions that work for me. And I'm no longer going to pretend that I don't know this because I know it now. And I'm going to use these four factors in my life every day in every way. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank my guest, Pamela Edwards, for being here. Please, she's at Language of Space. Go there. Check her out. You can email her. I think it was info at Language of Space or Pamela at Language of Space, too, to get your special I Have Today discount of $100 off working with her. And it, make sure that you're following me here. I'm at Diane Forster Official. And I have today with Diane Forster. I'm sending you love. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy today.